Hill, we'll start with you. Cal, obviously you guys are used to going into hostile environments like it's going to be this weekend, but how do you kind of view this Auburn series just as even as it's been recently? I know it's not a historical rivalry, but it seems like you guys are consistently competing for this league now. Well, anytime you have uh, – you're in a league and another team is good, um, you know it's a significant game. Uh, the problem with us, if we try to make any game bigger than another, because every game is a white out, a blue out, a black out, it's just how it is. Um, so we've got to go into the game knowing that the game we're going to play, we respect all the teams. I mean, uh, Texas A&M was an outstanding team, sold out. I mean, it was a great crowd and, uh, it was a rock fight. And so they're all the same, but, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're a good team. I mean, they're big, they're guard play, they shoot it. Um, you know, they do a lot of stuff to get lobs. Um, you know, I started watching tape about a day and a half ago, uh, on the plane on the way back from a and M and I was like, wow. So I haven't seen them until I watched this and, uh, they're really good. Kyle Tucker, go ahead. Yeah, Cal, although I'm not sure anything has actually changed much with the thought process, I wonder, does yesterday's report about Shaden potentially being eligible for the, the 2022 draft, does it alter anything in your plans for him? And, and is there any sort of use no, him or lose I, I him? I got to stop you because, whether... guys, ask shorter questions because I got to leave here in about six minutes. No, it doesn't change anything. And I, uh, that's with all due respect, Kyle. But it doesn't. Um, he plans on being here next year. I mean, he's, um, you know, he's watching whether I play him or not this year. If he's ready to be able to be in games, I'll put him in. Uh, but he's a great kid and he's doing well and he's going to make practices even better. He's only been here two weeks. Um, so. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to be for kids. It's how I do this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Cal, the environment you guys are facing down there and what you have at Texas A&M, how does that help for March where you're going to be neutral court at, at worst? Well, that's why I like neutral games um, because of that. But these games toughen you up. And it also, um, the game may be neutral in the NCAA tournament, but there's a little difference in a different importance to it. So when you get in league play, um, making plays like Ty Ty did at the end of that game, that was huge because you got, at the end of the day, teams are going to stop you from doing what you want to do. And it becomes players making plays. And if you don't have anybody on your team, it's hard to advance. You got to have a couple guys on your team. And, and um, it appears as though we do. Time for two more. Jerry Tipton and then your bias. Yeah, John, I just wonder uh, what you think of the matchups, Kessler and Jabari against Oscar, Wendell Green Jr. against whoever's your point guard at the time. Yeah, they, they're, they're all tough matchups. They're long. They're big. Um, you know, uh, Green is good with the ball and shoots it. And, you know, so it, they're tough matchups. It, it, look. We're going into a hostile environment. It's going to be a really hard game. And uh, for us, this we continue to learn about our team. Um, you know the last game we shot 36% and won, and I'm ecstatic because you need to know when you don't shoot it well, you can still win. You'll figure out a way. And that means you have fighters on the court. If a guy wasn't fighting, you can't be out there. We're not making shots. we got to win in another way. I always tell these guys, you're being evaluated, not how many points you score. That's eighth grade. It's what do you do to help this team win, especially when you're not scoring? Well, you do nothing. Well, that's how you're evaluated. And so we got a bunch of guys that have a great mindset. It's going to be a hard game. Tobias from AL.com, finish us off, please. All right. Um, no pressure. Um, what have you seen in particular – with the development of Walker Kessler, um, particularly coming from North Carolina, what have you seen with him now? 
Um, well, he's playing more minutes, so he's getting an opportunity to do stuff. But the minutes he got at North Carolina were based on the other big kids they had. They had really good big players. Um, but uh, more minutes, you're, you're seeing uh, they're doing good stuff of running him to the rim for, for lobs. He's blocking balls. Um, but uh, he's, he's good. I mean, obviously... He's one of the best big men in the country, and it'll be a tough challenge for us. Thank you so much for your time, Coach. Thanks, guys. Sorry I couldn't stay. I got a, we got an early flight, pilot issues. You got to, I got to run. Sorry. <laughs>